to win the money, you got to play the game. And remember, you win five games, you win the brand new car. Right there. Welcome back to Family Feud, everybody. The Morrison family, 213. The Howard family not on the board. And remember, if the Howard family wins today, they win the car. Give me Sarah, give me Robin, let's go. <laughs> Ladies, point values are tripled. Top four answers on the board. We asked 100 women, name something men talk about that you pretend to be interested in. Sarah. Sports. Sports. <laughs> We want to play. play. We're gonna play. <laughs> Folks, this is for all the marbles. Joshua, we asked a hundred women, name something men talk about that you pretend to be interested in. How about cars? Cars. <laughs> Melissa, a hundred women were asked this. Name something men talk about that you pretend to be interested in. Their job. Their job. <laughs> No strikes. If it's there, you win the game. I'm sorry, honey. Other women. Whoa! Good answer. Good answer. Good answer. Good answer. Good answer. Not me. Not, not me. Good answer. A, a guy would talk about other women? Wow. <laughs> Who is this guy? Other women! Oh. Susan? <laughs> Oh, it's you. <laughs> <laughs> Little Miss Maxwell. Cover <laughs> girl. <laughs> this is gonna be good. Come on, Sue, you got this. Um, Three seconds. Come on, Sue. Building. Woo! <laughs> Building stuff from the wind. <laughs> Two strikes. If it's there, you win. If it's not there, the Howard family can steal and go to sudden death. Sarah, 100 women were asked this. Name something men talk about that you pretend to be interested in. Sex. Yes! <laughs> Sex for the win! <laughs> wow. <laughs> Melton, let me give it to you straight. If it's there, you steal, we go to sudden death. If it's not there, the other team wins. Melton? Their bodies. Yeah, good answer. Good answer. Sudden death. Their bodies. <laughs> Number four. Politics. Wow. Man, oh man, oh man. Y'all did well. You were great players. We're great players, great family. Be proud of your family. You guys are great. Hey, Morrison, let's play fast money. We got Melissa, we got Matthew. They're going for the money right after this. Wow. Tell everybody what you're gonna win. $20,000. See, I, I love the way each family feels differently about the $20,000. This was a, you said, had a little pump with it. Little, it that's in case Susie <laughs> makes it on the cover of Maxim. She'll have, she'll have her little moves together. Okay, you ready? Yes, sir. All right, relax. Uh, 20 seconds on the clock, please. The clock will start after I read the first question. We asked 100 men on a scale of 1 to 10, rate how well you understand women. Five. Which musical instrument do you think is hardest to learn to play? Guitar. Who's the best interviewer on TV? Larry King. Name something you'd see in a city park. Birds. Name something mothers nag their grown daughters to do. Get married. You can play. You play. Come on, let's turn around and see how well you do. We asked 100 men on a scale of one to 10 to rate how well you understand women. You said five, survey said. Uh-huh, good answer. I said, which musical instrument do you think is hardest to learn to play? You said guitar. Survey said. Uh -huh. That's good. Ask you who's the best interviewer on TV. You said Larry King. Survey said. Oh. Wow. Oh. 
I thought he was great. One of my favorites. Name something you'd see in a city park, you said. Birds, survey said. Wow. Better, better. I said, name something mothers nag their grown daughters to do, you said. Get married, survey <laughs> said. Uh-huh. You brought it back. You brought it back. Let's clear the board. Let's bring out Matthew and see how well we do. Matthew. Hey, listen, man. Melissa got 83 points. All you need is 117 to win. I've seen it done before, okay? All right, I'm going to ask you the same five questions. You cannot duplicate the answers. If you do, you're going to hear this sound. I'll say try again. You give me another answer, okay? It's going to be a little tougher this time, Matthew, so we're going to give you 25 seconds, okay? All right. All right. Uh, let's remind everyone of Melissa's answers. 25 seconds on the clock, please. Clock will start after I read the first question. We asked 100 men. On a scale of 1 to 10, rate how well you understand women. One. Which musical instrument do you think is hardest to learn to play? Piano. Who's the best interviewer on TV? Uh, Katy Perry. Name something you'd see in a city park. Uh, doves. <laughs> children. Name something mothers nag their grown daughters to do. Get married. Try again. Have children. Good, man. You gave it a shot, I'll tell you that. <laughs> All right, here we go. We asked 100 men on a scale of 1 to 10, rate how well you understand women. You said... <laughs> 1. That is such a good answer. <laughs> Survey said... <laughs> <laughs> Number one answer was 5. <laughs> Which musical instrument do you think is hardest to learn to play? You said... <laughs> Piano. Survey said... <laughs> 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 Piano was the number one answer. Who's the best interviewer on TV? You said... <laughs> Kathy Perry. That... She is one of my absolute favorites. I don't know. <laughs> uh. Kathy Perry! Uh. Number one answer, Barbara Walters. <laughs> I said, name something you'd see in a city park. You said... <laughs> children. Survey said... Wow. Number one answer was benches. Benches. <laughs> I asked you to name something mothers nag their grown daughters to do. You said... <laughs> have children. Yes, they do. <laughs> Survey says... <laughs> wow. Number one answer was get married. Get married. You had it. Nice try, though, man. Good try. Hey, $5 a point, $685. But guess what? They'll be coming right back here to play Family Feud. Hey, welcome back to Family Feud, everybody. It's the Morrisons, 151. The Mallory's, 63. Give me Sarah. Give me Brenda. Let's go. <laughs> Got scared, didn't you? You didn't know what to do. This is a nice section of the family right here. It's that... This is Zanelli or whatever her name is. That's the crazy person in the family. <laughs> this is the nice lady over here. All right, here we go, ladies. Point values are tripled. Top four answers are on the board. We asked 100 married women, name something your husband thinks is a good time that to you is a waste of time. Sarah? Uh, watching sports. Watching sports. <laughs> We're gonna play. We're gonna play. They're gonna play. I didn't get it all out, so I'm going to read it for you, Joshua. This is triple the point, so we're going to get to it. We asked 100 married women, name something your husband thinks is a good time that to you is a waste of time. On, How about going fishing? Good going good fishing. Good fishing. Good fishing. I love good fishing, good man. Good going fishing. Good I love fishing, man. <laughs> Melissa? Working on cars. Working on cars. That's a good answer. Good Matthew, we asked 100 married women to name something that your husband thinks is a good time that to you is a waste of time. This doesn't apply to me at all, but sex. <laughs> good answer. Good answer. <laughs> this is an interesting family. Sex! 
Two strikes. <laughs> if it's there, you're still alive. If it's not there, the Mallory's can steal and go to sudden death. Susie? Playing video games. Good answer! Good answer! Good answer! Good answer. Good answer. Good answer Playing video games! Sarah, two strikes. Come on, Sarah. Uh, hanging out at sports bars. <laughs> hanging out in sports bars. <laughs> Morrison, let's play fast money. We need two players. We'll be right back to play Fast Money right after this. Now, if you and Matthew put together this thing for 200 points, tell everybody what happens when you win. We get $20,000, baby! Point, huh, dip, <laughs> yeah, right, yeah. Okay, you ready? Yes, sir. Come on, Melissa, let's get it done this time. Uh, 20 seconds on the clock, please. The clock is gonna start after I read the first question. What percentage of American men think they're good lovers? 50%. Name something that little kids do in the snow. They make snowmen. Name something a guy would make himself for dinner. Um, a sandwich. Name a card game that's easy to cheat at. Solitaire. Name a kind of music that could destroy a romantic evening. Techno. <laughs> yep, yeah, cause yeah. No, it will. That's a true statement. I don't know if it's up there, but it's true, though. Well, let's see how well we did. I said, what percentage of American men think they're good lovers? You said 50%. Survey said. Oh. I said, name something that little kids do in the snow. You said. Make snowmen. Survey said. Uh huh. I said, name something a guy would make himself for dinner. You said. Sandwich. Survey said. Uh -huh. Name a card game that's easy to cheat at. You said <laughs> solitaire. <laughs> Survey says. Aww. That was a good answer. Really, really good answer. Name a kind of music that could destroy a romantic <laughs> evening. You said that sexy techno. <laughs> Let's see if it's a Survey. Aww. That was a great answer, though. Well, let's clear the board, bring out Matthew, see if we can make this thing happen. Matthew, yeah. Melissa got 66 points. Awesome. You got a little work to do. <laughs> he said, awesome. <laughs> like, 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 he almost choked when I said that. He said, Melissa got 66 points. He said, awesome. You got this, Matt. But you can do it, though. Thank you. All you need is 134 <laughs> points to win. That's all. It can uh, happen, though. I'm going to ask you the same five questions. You cannot duplicate the answers. If you do, you're going to hear this sound. <laughs> I'm gonna say try again, you give me another answer, okay? It's yes, gonna be a little tougher this time, Matthew, so we're gonna give you 25 seconds. All right, let's remind everyone of Melissa's answers. 25 seconds on the clock, please. The clock will start after I read the first question. What percentage of American men think they're good lovers? 80. Name something that little kids do in the snow. Make snowmen. <laughs> try again. Snowball fight. Name something a guy would make himself for dinner. TV dinner. Name a card game that's easy to cheat at. Poker. Name a kind of music that could destroy a romantic evening. Heavy metal. You took a good shot at it, buddy. Let's see. What percentage of American men think they're good lovers? You said 80%. Survey said. The number one answer, 100%. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, we are. Oh, <laughs> trust and believe. Yes, yes, we are. It, it, the problem is you. It's never us. <laughs> is... Name something that little kids do in the snow. You said... <laughs> snowball fight. Survey said... <laughs> that was tied for the number one answer. It was make a snowman and snowball fight. Both number one answers. Name something a guy would make himself for dinner. You said? <laughs> TV dinner, survey said. <laughs> Number one answer was sandwich. <laughs> Name a card game that's easy to cheat at. You said? <laughs> Poker, survey said. <laughs> Poker 
was the number one answer. I said, name of kind of music that could destroy a romantic evening. You were so correct when you said this. You said heavy metal. Survey said... Oh. Number one answer was rap. <laughs> rap. Yeah. Well, that's $5 a point. Total of $810. But they're coming back right here on Family Feud. Hey, welcome back to Family Feud, everybody. The Koshas lead 237. The Morrisons have 73. Let's go. Give me Sarah. Give me Jenna. Let's play. <laughs> Ladies, point values are triple. Top four answers on the board. Name something men are amazed to see a woman fix by herself. Jenna. A light. A light. Sarah. A car. A car. Pass it play. Hey, we're gonna play. We're gonna play. We're gonna play. Jenna. Joshua, let's get to it. Name something men are amazed to see a woman fix by herself. How about the toilet? The toilet. <laughs> Melissa? How about an appliance? An appliance. <laughs> Matthew, <laughs> name something. Men are amazed to see women fix by herself. Uh, her marriage. <laughs> <laughs> I love this guy. I love this guy my favorite player of all time. The marriage. <laughs> all right, you got this. <laughs> Two strikes. If it's not there, the other team can steal. The yard. Oh, it's right. the yard. <laughs> the yard. <laughs> Anthony. I don't, it's, with it. I don't like it. You don't like this no, one either? I don't like it. Okay. <laughs> if it's like there, it. you steal, you win. If it's not there, the Morrisons win. Oh. Anthony, name something men are amazed to see a woman fixed by herself. Computer. The computer! <laughs> Number three. Hair. Number four. Man. Man, nice to meet you. Great. Oh, that's okay. Great family. Beautiful lady. Man, I love you, man. Ooh, yeah. Oh, man. Hey, Morrisons, give me two players. Let's go. I've got Matthew. I've got Melissa. They're going for the cash right after this. And if you and Melissa put this thing together and come up with 200 points, you tell everybody what you're going to win. Twenty thousand dollars. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 And bark. Yeah, if you win the twenty, you bark. Yeah. One more time. <laughs> He's working on it. I'm working. Yeah, but that's good. <laughs> you ready? I'm ready. All right, buddy. Come on, Matthew. Do well. Twenty seconds on the clock, please. The clock will start after I read the first question. Name a talk show where at least one of the guests always ends up crying. Um. Barbara Walters. Name something people like to do while listening to music. Make love. How many pages of a book do you read in one sitting? Uh, 50. Name something people eat that starts with the word short. Shortcake. Name something that has a siren. Police car. My man. I like that. All right, let's see how we did. Name a talk show where at least one of the guests always ends up crying. You said? Barbara Walters. Survey said? I said, name something people like to do while listening to music. Of course, you said, <laughs> making love. What else would your little nasty <laughs> self say? <laughs> You've been giving nasty answers since you've been on this show. I would expect nothing less from you, Matthew. <laughs> Survey says. <laughs> How many pages of a book do you read in one sitting? You said, 50. Survey said. Uh-huh. I said, name something people eat that starts with the word short. You said, short cake, survey said. Ah, okay. Name something that has a siren. You said, police car, survey said. That's pretty good. You're almost halfway there. That might make it, man. That might make it. 
Well, let's clear the board. Let's bring out Melissa. <laughs> Melissa? Yes, sir. We're almost halfway there. Okay, great. Matthew put 91 on the board, Woo! okay? Yeah. 91. All you need is 109, okay? Right. You're a very good player. You can do this, okay? I'm gonna ask you the same five questions. You cannot duplicate the answers. If you do, you're gonna hear this sound. I'm gonna say try again. You'll give me another answer, okay? It's gonna be a little bit tougher this time, so we're gonna give you 25 seconds. Are you ready? Yes, sir. All right, let's remind everyone of Matthew's answers. 25 seconds on the clock, please. Clock will start after I read the first question. Name a talk show where at least one of the guests always ends up crying. Oprah. Name something people like to do while listening to music. Uh, sing. How many pages of a book do you read in one sitting? 20. Name something people eat that starts with the word short. Shortcake. Try again. Shortbread. Name something that has a siren. A fire truck. Come on, Melissa. Nice shot at it. I said, name a talk show where at least one of the guests always ends up crying. <laughs> you said, <laughs> survey says, <laughs> oh. <laughs> Oprah was the number one answer. I said, to name something people like to do while listening to music. You said, <laughs> sing. Survey said, <laughs> wow. <laughs> the number one answer was clean, do chores. I said, how many pages of a book do you read in one sitting? You said, 20. Survey said, <laughs> number one answer was 50. I said, name something people eat that starts with the word short. You said, short bread. Survey <laughs> says, <laughs> ooh, wow. Short cake was the number one answer. I said, name something that has a siren. You need 34 points. Name something that has a siren. You said, fire truck. Survey says, oh! I like that. I like that, man. I like that a lot. $495. And they're coming back right here on Family Feud, everybody. Let's go. Hey, welcome back to Family Feud, everybody. We got a good one. Morrison's 150. Christian's 52. Give me Sarah. Give me Josiah. Let's go. You all right, man? Oh, I like that. Got a little, uh... It's a Dominican flag. Dominican flag? Yes, sir. Oh, OK. Thought it was... <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> I was, I don't want, I don't want you to fall. <laughs> They're very it's nice. Okay. If he falls from shaking your hand, <laughs> <laughs> the people in Dominica, <laughs> where I'm telling you, they're gonna be ticked. <laughs> Why, well, get on your show and down, fall in front of the lead. <laughs> <laughs> Point values are triple. That means someone's gonna win it right here. Top four answers on the board. Here we go, guys. Name something that people shoot off. Sarah. Um. Their mouths. Their mouths. <laughs> play, play, play. Play, play. They're gonna play. They're gonna play. They're gonna play. <laughs> Albert, let's go. Name something that people shoot off. A gun. A gun. Yes, yes. Yes. <laughs> Eunice, name something that people shoot off. An arrow. An, an, an arrow. <laughs> Only one strike. Alina? Yes. Name something that people shoot off. A slingshot. <laughs> A slingshot. <laughs> Two strikes. If it's there, you're still alive, Juliana. If it's not there, the more sense. <laughs> <laughs> Name something that people shoot off. The barracks. Excuse me? The barracks. What did she say? 
<laughs> the barracks at the um, like when police officers the shoot. barracks. <laughs> That's not a good answer. <laughs> we don't even know what it is. It can't be a good answer if we can't spell it. The barracks. <laughs> Moses, if it's there, you steal, you win. If it's not there, the Christian family will take it to sudden death. Name something that people shoot off. Fireworks. <laughs> For the win, fireworks. <laughs> Number four. <laughs> Cannons. I didn't know it either. I had no idea what it could have been. Damn, good man. I had no idea, but don't feel bad. I didn't have any, I had no clue. Nice family, though, keep smiling. Hey, Morrison, let's play Fast Money. Melissa, Matthew, they're going for the cash right after this. Oh, man, they're back at it again. Uh, 20 seconds on the clock, please. The clock will start after I read the first question. Name a creature that you're never sure if it's male or female. Snake. Besides people, name something you can't live without. Food. Name something that starts with the word king. Uh, pass. Name a way people prepare potatoes. Baked. Name a specific item an auto parts store sells a lot of. Spark plugs. Name something that starts with the word king. Uh, oh. I tried to give back to you. No, no, that was good. All right, let's go. I said, name a creature that you're never sure if it's male or female. You said, a snake, survey said. Good answer. I said, besides people, name something you can't live without. You said, food, survey said. Uh -huh. I said, name something that starts with the word king. Didn't say anything, that's okay. I said, name a way people prepare potatoes. You said, bake, survey said. 26, that's a good one. Right. Name a specific item an auto parts store sells a lot of. You said? Spark plug. That's my answer, too. Survey said. Wow. I thought that was good. You got a shot, though. Your partner's pretty good. Let's clear the board. Let's bring out Melissa, see if we can make this thing happen. Melissa? Yes, sir. OK, we can do this. Okay. Think positive. Matthew? Got 76 points. Okay. You need 124 to win. This could happen. All right, I'm gonna ask you the same five questions. You cannot duplicate the answers. If you do, you're gonna hear this sound. I'm gonna say try again. You'll give me another answer, okay? Gonna be a little bit tougher this time, so we're gonna give you 25 seconds. Are you ready? Yes, sir. All right, let's remind everyone of Matthew's answers. 25 seconds on the clock, please. Clock will start after I read the first question. Here we go. Name a creature that you're never sure if it's male or female. A bear. Besides people, name something you can't live without. Dog. Name something that starts with the word king. King. Pass. Name a way people prepare potatoes. Bake them. <laughs> Try again. Uh, mash them. Name a specific item an auto parts store sells a lot of. Filters. Name something that starts with the word king. King Tut. Okay. We're shooting at it. All right, let's see what we did. I said, name a creature that you're never sure if it's male or female. You said, <laughs> bam, <laughs> survey said. Aww. Number one answer was fish. Oh, yeah. Besides people, name something you can't live without. You said, <laughs> your dog. That's a nice answer. <laughs> survey says, Number one answer was food. Then I said, name something that starts with the word king. You said, <laughs> King Tut. <laughs> Survey says, <laughs> number one answer, King Kong. Of course. Name a way people prepare potatoes. You said, <laughs> mashed. <laughs> Survey said, <laughs> uh huh. The number one answer was mashed. I said, name a specific item an auto parts store sells a lot of. You said, <laughs> filters. <laughs> Survey says, oh. one point. Number one answer was oil. Oil, number one answer. Five dollars a point, 715. For a four day total, $22,210. And they're coming back. 
Welcome back to Family Feud, everybody. The Morrison family, they're trying to win it. They got 262. The boys are still in it with 86. And remember, today, if the Morrison family wins it, they're going to win the brand new car. So let's see what happens. Give me Sarah. Give me Christine. Let's go. Good luck, ladies. The point values have tripled, so that means someone's going to win it on this one right here. Top four answers are on the board. Name something little kids are often afraid of. Christine. Monsters. Monsters. Sarah? The dark. The dark. You want to play? They're going to play, Christine. <laughs> Morrison's, I don't have to tell you how big this is. <laughs> so let's just get to it. Joshua, name something little kids are often afraid of. How about being left alone? Being left <laughs> alone. <laughs> That's a good answer, man. One strike, Melissa. What do you think? How about the doctor's office? The doctor's office? Wow. Two really good answers. Now we got a little situation, Matthew. We got two strikes here. <laughs> if it's there, you're still alive. If not, the Lavoie family can steal and win. Matthew, name something that little kids are often afraid of. Well, when they deserve it, they're parents. <laughs> they're parents. The <laughs> voice. If it's there, you steal, you win. If it's not there, the Morrison family wins a brand new car. Paul, name something little kids are often afraid of. We're gonna say strangers. Strangers. Yeah. For the win, strangers. <laughs> Let's look at the remaining answers. Number three. seconds on the clock, please. The clock will start after I read the first question. Tell me the name people use to describe a man who dates a lot of women. A player. How many hours a day do you spend online? Four. Name another word for talk. Um, speak. The last time you got really angry, who were you angry at? Spouse. Name a cable channel you can learn a lot from. Um, C-SPAN. That's okay. Gave you some good answers. Come on. All right, let's see what we got. Nothing would be better than to win this car and another 20. Tell me the name people use to describe a man who dates a lot of women. You said? Player. <laughs> Survey said. <laughs> yeah. How many hours a day do you spend online? You said? Four. Survey said? Uh-huh. I said, name another word for talk. You said, speak, survey said. Mm. The last time you got really angry, who were you angry at? You said, your spouse, survey <laughs> said. Oh. <laughs> I said, name a cable channel you can learn a lot from. You said, world famous C-SPAN. <laughs> survey says, come on. Oh. That's okay. You got them where you need them. Let's clear the board. Let's bring out Matthew. Matthew, my man, listen to me. All right. Melissa put up 105 points. All right. Woo! You need 95 to win. I'm going to ask you the same five questions. You cannot duplicate the answers. If you do, you're going to hear this sound. 
I'm going to say try again. You'll give me another answer, okay? Yes, sir. It's going to be a little bit tougher this time, so I'm going to give you 25 seconds. Right. Are you ready? Yes, sir. Come on, Matthew. All we right. can do this, all right? Let's remind everyone of Melissa's answers. 25 seconds on the clock, please. The clock will start after I read the first question. Tell me the name people use to describe a man who dates a lot of women. Um, player. Try again. Um, pass. How many hours a day do you spend online? Two. Name another word for talk. Speak. Try again. Um, gab. The last time you got really angry, who were you angry at? Spouse. Try again. Um, boss. Name a cable channel you can really learn a lot from. Um, TLC. How Let's go, man. Tell me the name people use to describe a man who dates a lot of women. You said... <laughs> Some people don't like talking to him. That's all to it. <laughs> Number one answer was player. How many hours a day do you spend online? You said... <laughs> two. Survey said... <laughs> Number one answer was three. Name another word for talk. You said... <laughs> Gab. Survey says... The number one answer was speak. <laughs> the last time you got really angry, who are you angry at? You said... <laughs> your boss. Survey said... <laughs> 13. <laughs> number one answer was spouse. <laughs> said, name a cable channel you can learn a lot from. You said... <laughs> TLC. Survey says... Number one answer was the Discovery Channel. Hey, that's a five-day total. $22,970. And they're taking home a brand-new car. Not a bad day, man. See you next time when we're, we're going to have two brand-new teams to play Family Feud. I'm Steve Harvey, everybody. We'll see you next time.